One, two, three. After two decades, there are now brand new facilities for the public at Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial Park. My brother and I, when we first moved back home, uh, we came to the park along with my wife. We used to just live about a block away from here, and we just came to the park, and I saw that they had porta potties and. And that really touched my heart. I said, this cannot be. That was the reality. But February 2nd marks a new day for the park. To think that 20 something years we had porta potties, it's appalling. But that's why, I mean, that's why the passion, that's why people gave $5, $10, $25, whatever they could to make sure that these restrooms were a part of this community. Now this project took three years to get where it is today, but it was no simple task taking nearly $300,000 of fundraising efforts. I thought it was very disrespectful that we even had to raise money. It's a city park. They have agreed to maintain, so let me stay positive. But we're going to believe God that there are going to be angels posted around the restrooms and that they will continue to be clean and safe. Now the focus stays on maintaining the cleanliness of the facilities while also giving a park that memorializes Dr. King the respect it deserves. February the 2nd, the second day of Black History Month to have the bathrooms open and the ribbon cutting and having everybody out here. It's poetic justice. Just so grateful that the vision that God has given us has come to pass. The original plan was to actually have these facilities open on January 19th, which is Dr. King's birthday. But due to Mother Nature and legal process, that had to be rescheduled to today. Nevertheless, that brings us to the second day of Black History Month, where now these facilities are open and will ensure the sanitation of all. Damian Bartonic, Fox West Texas.